What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with a loose, complete, ungraded video. We haven't done one of these in a while, and I feel like it was time to put together some recent sales for vehicles, either kind of unused contents or just 100% complete vehicles. We got some 12-inch figures, as you can see in the thumbnail, a Red Bar R5-D4 that's in kind of rough condition, but probably a pretty good budget value, uh, a Hollow Cheeks Tuscan Raider, two of them actually. And then at the end of the video, I also put together some loose, complete last 17 sales. Lots of those here recently. So I just thought that with the market a little bit dicey, it seems like it'd be a good time to talk about loose, complete figures. If you are not integrating, or if you're just looking to fill out your collection with some of these more expensive gems that are pretty pricey graded. So uh, let's go ahead and dig right in. Before I dig in any further, though, I want to mention that if you have a collection to sell, whether it's loose, complete, loose, incomplete, graded, mint on card, whatever you got, uh, you can reach out to me by email, actionfiguregrader at gmail.com, and I'll put you in, tr uh, in touch with some trusted buyers. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of folks take advantage of that recently, uh, and uh, they've been all been very happy from, from what I gather. Uh, they always reach out to me afterwards and say, that was a great transaction. Thank you so much. Uh, so just reach out to me by email if you need some help. I don't charge anything for it. I just try to put people in touch who are trying to sell with people that are trying to buy. Uh, let's dig in. So we got a baggie. This is an SWD baggie for Luke Farm Boy. And I think I had this one in a what to buy video. I can't remember if I did or not. So I apologize if uh, I'm repeating myself. But this is one that uh, was at auction, so I think I did have it in a what to buy. The baggie itself wasn't perfect. Obviously, it had some wear to the ink on the front of the baggie that says Made in Hong Kong. I think this is the SWD baggie. I think I think that's the right baggie. Um, I've got a, a Death Star droid at Collector Archive Services with the same, uh, the, the same font, so I'm pretty sure that's correct. But anyway, this Luke Farm Boy sold, I, I think I predicted 350 to 400, so it shows you that I don't know anything. Uh, this one sold for $459, 50 bids, 50 bids. That closed on May 14th, 1065 shipping. So $470-ish uh, for an SWD baggie. Now, any any Luke Farm Boy baggie is going to set you back. And that, that is an earlier baggie. It's certainly not like an early bird mail-away baggie, but it, an SWD baggie is pretty early. And so I can, I can understand the appeal. And it was completely factory heat sealed, so... Uh, next up, we've got a blue snags. I, I think these kind of uh, blue snaggle toots are good options if you don't want to spend the big, big money for the high grade, perfect examples. It's got obvious wear to the boots, and it also has the obvious torso discoloration that we always talk about. But uh, the boots clearly have, have quite a bit of wear to it. This is probably like 70 grade condition. But, you know, again, a, a lot of you don't care about having the mint of the mint, right? And uh, this this was a good value, $364. I don't think that was necessarily a bad deal at all, uh, given that near mint con condition ones can go for seven, eight hundred bucks pretty easily, and uh, high grade AFA graded examples will set you back over a thousand bucks sometimes. So I think that's a, a really good value option uh, for a blue snags. Uh, I got a couple of twelve inch figures that I wanted to show. This was a mint complete Boba Fett. It looked to be in fantastic condition overall, and it included all the accessories. It was listed for $495. The best offer that was accepted was $450. So a uh, pretty good buy on that. I've seen some CAS graded kind of big displays that have gone for eight to $900. So uh, $450 seems to be about half that. And this one looked to be in great shape. Just really, really clean condition overall. And uh, in my opinion, probably worth every penny of $450. Uh, next up was the 12-inch... IG-88, one of the toughest ones to get, especially complete, and this one included the box. Uh, it, it was uh, opened, uh, but it still had the factory ties and everything. It had both weapons, all of the little grenades that go on his bandolier around his chest, and it was in great shape, really, really good shape. And, you know, we documented one that was a CAS-graded example that sold for under this price, but this one, including the box and all the inserts, all the zip ties and everything... Uh, you know, it, I, I guess in theory you could qualify for uh, qualified grading, but I, I think it's just fine displaying it like like it is, and it doesn't need to be graded. Uh, that's a really awesome display piece. Uh, $888 and change took that home, plus $40 shipping, so about $920. And then if you factor in what AFA graded examples will sell for, there was one last year, it was over three grand, I think. I, I don't remember the exact price. It could have been even more than that for all I know, but uh, but anyway, uh, $888 plus $40 shipping for kind of an unused contents 
12 inch line of IG88. That to me is worth every penny of that. Uh, I've got a, bar, a bargain or budget red, red bar R5D4. So you can see there it's got that left rectangle filled in. Uh, the sticker obviously has a ton of wear on it, but you know, with what, how expensive these figures have gotten, uh, you know, they're very, very pricey. They're very pricey. And, and so clearly this sticker has seen better days, but it, it very clearly is the Red Bar R5D4. This one sold in an auction for $264 on 23 bids. And uh, that seems about right. I mean, I've seen ones in slightly better shape go for kind of $350 to $450-ish. Uh, so $264 plus $6 shipping, I think, is, is about right. I know it's hard to believe that it's that this is worth $264, but the market has spoken, and, and Red Bar R5s are one of those kind of hard, to, I don't know if they're hard to find, but they're very desirable variants that uh, people are willing to spend up for even in this kind of condition. So uh, 264 I would say if you're looking for one kind of in 70 grade condition, this is probably like in 50 grade condition, but one in like 70 grade condition is more like 450 uh, and then it goes up from there. I mean, 850 to 1,000. I've seen 1,300 recently for graded examples. So very, very pricey example. Uh, I got a couple of different Hollow Cheeks Tuscan Raiders that sold. This one wasn't as good as uh, the other one, as the second one I'm going to show you. And what you really got to be careful for uh, is the silver paint on the head. On the horns, you can see the obvious paint wear there. And then on the eyes, there's some paint wear. So uh, it's in great, pretty good condition, really. I mean, this is probably like a 75 plus 80 grade condition hollow cheeks and, and when you know for those of you who are new to some of these variants the hollow cheeks just refers to below his eyes there he's got those two cheeks that are hollow instead of rounded and that protrude out so uh, some of the later versions that appeared on like return of the jedi card backs they had this hollow cheeks it's just kind of one of those wonky variations that the factory decided to get cute with and now everyone wants one so uh, that is the hollow cheeks and uh, you know they're, they're a very desirable variant just like the red bar r5 this one sold for $247.50, just given the kind of slight paint wear. Now, this one was much cleaner, as you can see here. Uh, I'll see if I can get a zoom in of the of the head. But you see how much cleaner the paint is? Well, I take that back. It's got the eye, the eyes are 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 not as nice. Uh, you can see that the paint wear, but I, I was actually looking at the horns. The horns look to be in great shape there. But the, the eyes are not. I mean, the eyes have obvious paint wear there. And there's even some paint wear on one of the cheeks there. So is this better condition? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm starting to double to to, uh, to re reconsider my initial thoughts on it. But uh, this one, you know, I would say that the cheeks look good. The horns got some wear. I, I would say this one is slightly better. This one's slightly the, the paint apps on the on the hands and the bandolier and that little breather piece around his neck seem to be better. He's got some scuffing and things like that on the legs. So eh, this is probably like a low 80 grade would be my guess versus the other one. It's probably like a 75. Uh, this one sold for $357 uh, plus $6 shipping. And again, this one sold for $247. So uh, make that for what you will, but that's a pretty significant price difference. Uh, you know, we, we've talked about some AFA graded examples. I mean, CIB over uh, at AFA, they had an they auctioned off an AFA graded example that sold for stupid money. I mean, it was crazy. It was like eleven hundred dollars for an AFA eighty five, which I'm not paying that. I'm sorry. I'm just not. I'm not gonna. Pay, I'm not gonna pay that for a loose graded hollow cheeks. There's just too many of them out there. I mean, while I'm filming this video, there's another one at auction right now. So uh, that's three just in the last week that have popped up on eBay at auction that are decent to good shape. So uh, eleven hundred dollars is crazy to me. Uh, I've got some vehicles before we finish things off with some last 17 figures. Uh, this is the Land Speeder, the Collector Series Land Speeder. It says in the title 1978 Kenner, but if it's got that Collector Series uh, kind of red starburst there, this is the one that was re released around the Return of the Jedi. They kind of reissued it in 1983. So uh, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by some of those titles. It's still sold for $162. I don't know if it's worth it. I guess so. I mean, it seemed to be in pretty good shape. The box was in decent to good shape. Uh, one thing you do have to be aware of is the chrome on the land speeder. You can see that this one's got some pretty obvious wear to it. And uh, it also scratches really easy. The brown fuselage, uh, it tends to scratch really, really easy on the hood. So just keep that in mind because, you know, when kids were playing with it, they were kind of pulling up that hood because uh, that opens up and, you know, if they miss, then it would scratch uh, the top of it. So uh, just be on the lookout. The bottoms also, because kids would roll them, you know, they can get scratched up on the bottom. But uh, those are the obvious defects. So this one was not 
in the greatest shape, but it still sold for $162. I mean, mint and sealed box, you're probably talking 600 bucks, five, 600 bucks, somewhere in there. So uh, appropriately discounted, I guess. Uh, one that's always tough to find with unbroken reins is the Tauntaun. This one included the Tauntaun and unbroken reins. That one sold for $170. I think that's a good buy. I mean, uh, I, I've seen them sell for almost that on Facebook for just the Tauntaun with unbroken reins. So to get the box with it, that's not, not a bad deal. Uh, here's an unused contents Y-Wing fighter. So it's got all the inserts and all the, uh, you know, kind of accessories that go with it. I think that the, the baggie had, the baggies had been opened. Uh, and I'm not sure. It looks like the stickers had also been applied. So keep that in mind. So it's not unused contents, but it does include the vehicle and the insert and the instructions and all that good stuff. So pr pretty, pretty good example though. And that one sold for $3.90 free shipping. And again, you know, mint in the sealed box, you can double that price pretty easily. Graded examples. We just talked about one that sold for, I, I don't remember the number, $1,100 or so. So uh, $3.90 is probably about right for one in pretty good condition. I got two different Imperial Shuttle data points. Uh, this one is uh, complete with box, unused stickers. So pretty good shape overall. Uh, here's the sticker sheet and the instructions and all that. Unused stickers. How, I mean, that's, that's not... There can't be many of these left. This is a true survivor to have the unused sticker sheet where the stickers haven't peeled off because the glue has gone bad on the back of those stickers or the adhesive. But uh, pretty good shape overall. That sold for $800. And then this one uh, was complete with the box, but uh, you know the stickers had been applied on this one. And that one sold in an auction for $406 on 44 bids plus another $118 shipping. So that's five, let's call it $525 versus $800 free shipping for one that was unused contents. Um, last 17, to round things out, we've got a last 17 Barada. I'm, I'm assuming for all of these last 17 figures that they're all complete and that they all have the correct non-repro accessories. Uh, Barada is not one where they usually repro, but uh, it looked to be in pretty good shape. And remember what we talked about. We always say, look at the back. Look at the back of the figure. Look at the backpack. This one looked to be pretty good. It uh, looks like it's got some factory paint defects, but the actual backpack does not have any uh, wear to it, which is a usual spot for it. And the feet are also in pretty good shape. Uh, so the feet and the backpack on Barada are where you got to be careful. That one sold for $215 plus $6 shipping. Next up, we got the A-Wing Pilot with the blaster and the coin. And again, remember we always talk about the A-Wing Pilot. Check out that silver paint apps on the chest. Uh, hard to tell based on these kind of wonky photos. Uh, looks okay, but, you know, it, it does look like there's some paint wear to uh, to the eyebrow, as well as the silver paint, and also some scratching on the hands. So by no means perfect, probably like 80 grade at best, 75 plus. That one sold for 375 plus shipping. Next up is Luke Skywalker and his battle poncho. That includes the correct black palace blaster as well as the coin that one sold for 350 plus six dollars shipping uh, i mean i don't know if i'd pay 350 for it i'd probably go 275 that's kind of my that would be my number for a, a luke indoor poncho ungraded because I, th I think you could i think in an auction you could get an afa graded example for 450 or less so uh 350 seems a little high to me uh, La uh excuse me lando uh lando calrissian general uh, another last 17 figure this again included the palace blaster as well as his coin Looked to be in decent shape overall. It's, I've always have a hard time gauging condition of Lando. Uh, it does look like he's got a little nick right there on the knee. And uh, the cape is another area where you got to look for staining, things like that. Uh, but pretty good shape overall. Pretty good shape. Probably like 80 grade condition at, at a minimum. This one sold for $275 plus $7 shipping. Uh, Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper disguise. We talk about this one all the time. Again, at this price, I'm assuming that it's got the correct blaster imperial blaster the all black solid black uh you know the, the seller on these was very good about disclosing defects and he said hey i've got some purple marks on the back of this one so you know who knows if that's marker or you know just discoloration over time i tend to think it was probably like kids marker or something like that so that held the price down a little bit but it still sold for 525 plus six dollars shipping so um, but it was complete with the blaster. I'm assuming that's correct. And then his helmet. So, and the coin as well. So 525 on that one. And, you know, given that we just talked about an AFA U90 that sold for over $3,000, that's a significant price difference. So, uh, pretty good way to pick one up if you don't want to pay for the graded examples. Imperial Gunner, uh, this one was also complete. Um, 
I'm looking at the photos and obviously the emblems on this on his shoulders if I can get decent photos here that one looks pretty good maybe some just light chipping uh, but the emblems look pretty good it's got the correct blaster I believe as well as the coin uh, and there's no wear to the belt buckle that's the big thing uh, right there you can see the belt buckle looks pretty clean so pretty good condition probably an 80 80 plus condition at a minimum and that one sold for 385 plus seven dollar shipping AF8 85 graded examples can set you back 600 to 700 dollars so 385 plus shipping is a pretty good buy there uh r2d2 pop-up that's another one that's very very pricey probably one of the more expensive last 17 variants this one looked pretty good and again i'm assuming that the the lightsaber is not repro uh but a uh, pretty good example that's a really clean one that one sold for 560 dollars in an auction plus 14 dollars shipping so uh, I, I'm not well versed in the repro of the Saber. I mean, it looks correct to me, but you know, who knows? <laughs> who knows? I can't keep I, I can't keep track of some of this stuff. But uh, it, it it it's it's listed as no repro, and the seller's got a hundred percent positive feedback. So if you happen to buy it, I hope that you got a good deal on because at five sixty seems like a pretty fair price for that one because that was in really good shape overall, probably eighty grade condition. What else do I have here? Uh, we've got the Imperial Dignitary. He's got the infamous nose rub, unfortunately. That's the big thing on the Imperial Dignitary. He always gets rub on his nose. He's got a stop kissing butt to the Emperor in the throne room. So this one sold for $105 and change. You know, AFA 85 examples will set you back $225 to $250. So $105 for an 80 grade is pretty good. And then finally, I've got this one. It seems like just yesterday we talked about an auction on five complete yak faces over in the uk well somebody else just listed three of them so maybe it was the same buyer the the guy who bought the five kept the best two and then he's reselling three of them i don't know but uh here's a lot of three last 17 yak faces and you know the big thing on yak face as you can see in the middle one on his left boot there uh that can uh get some scuffing and it shows the blue the blue plastic underneath the the gray uh so that one's obviously got some wear the, the far right one's got some wear on his hand. Uh, the torso can also discolor slightly over time. Uh, so just some obvious spots to look for if you're looking for a loose, complete yak face. But this lot of three of them sold for £1,000-ish, which is $1,262. So that rounds out, you know, with shipping here to the U.S., it would be about, uh, you know, 400 and 450 bucks or so, which, you know, given what these high, go for in high grade, uh, on this one, you can see the obvious wear to that left hand there. So uh, just things to look out for for Yak Faces because he continues to be pretty pricey despite really not being that rare. I mean, it's 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 pretty plentiful to find Yak Faces out there. But uh, nevertheless, this batch of three sold for 1,010 pounds, which is 1,262 U.S. dollars. So I hope that you found this information helpful if you're out there looking for some cool variants or some last 17 figures or some vehicles. Thanks again for watching and I'll be back soon.